Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Casino DLC video. Yes, this is another one. But hey, today we got something new because what we got today is a look at the actual casino code that was planned for the game back in 2013 or 2014. And we're not really sure, I guess, when Rockstar was initially planning on releasing the casino into online. But we finally got a look at the code and some of the NPCs that are inside or that were supposed to be inside. So I think this is really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Before we get into that, I am doing another $8 million Sharker giveaway over on my Twitter. Link to that is in the description. Simple. You just got to go follow me over on Twitter and then retweet the tweet. I'll be picking that winner sometime next week. And by the way, you might want to follow me on Twitter because I'll be uh, releasing uh, or doing more $8 million Sharker giveaways basically up until maybe through the casino release. Because I know everyone needs money because this freaking DLC is going to be insane, probably. Now, let's talk about what we're here to see. The code from the casino on the 360. So, of course, this is coming from Fun. He's the one who went back, he said, to check the old Xbox 360 code where I found or where he found the casino code. This is what was posted. You can just see at the top there, we have two models. You have the waiter, and then you have the this model called Gen Street 1. Then we have a bunch of animations. And if we just go down the list, you can see it says animation poker, animation roulette, animation blackjack. And then it continues animation poker with a, a pedestrian. And it continues some of the other stuff with pedestrians because I am imagining in their initial plan for the casino, you were playing against other NPCs. So that's why NPCs had some animations at the blackjack table, at, you know, the roulette wheel, at the poker table. And then at the bottom, I'm not entirely sure what to make of this line of code. If anyone maybe can speculate any more or give us some answers on this, I guess let us know in the comment section down below. But you can see we have those same models, the waiter and the gen street. And then they're doing stuff to the right. I don't know what those numbers are. I don't know if those numbers are random numbers or if they were numbers maybe corresponding to some sort of game. But you got blackjack, poker, poker again. And then obviously the waiter would be dealing. So that's what his animation looks like at the top of that one. Idling, I guess, if maybe they're folding or, if, you know, they don't have a turn. They're just idling there. And uh, I guess the same sort of thing applies to the roulette wheel. That's the bottom part of it. You can see the waiter with the roulette dealer and then the idol for the different pedestrians. So that was the coding. And this is what we're basing some of our speculation off of. This is why we've said that we kind of know the games rocks are going to be placing in the casino. We know there's going to be poker. We know there's going to be roulette. We know there's going to be blackjack. And then... Not in this, but just on the casino itself, there's a giant sign that says slots. So one would imagine slots are coming as well. But that's why we say those four are going to be the games. Now, they may add more, but that's, I think, the four that we're going to be seeing. This also gives us an idea of how the casinos were originally planned. And this is something that, I don't know, I don't want to say could make or break this casino, you know, releasing into GTA Online. But I'm, I'm betting that if they don't change it up, then I don't know if it's going to be as fun. Because in this original plan, it appears that we were basically just going to be playing against NPCs, which would have been fun for a time. But there's just nothing better than playing against other players. Even though I know the payout's going to be probably a lot less, it's just very rewarding to beat an actual other person rather than an NPC. Because... One, you don't know if the NPCs, like, they, it's it's an NPC. So, like, by its nature, it's cheating, right? Because, like, it knows everything. <laughs> but an actual person, obviously, you don't have that. So, that's, that's, like, I guess what their original plan was. You're just joining the casino to play against NPCs. And I think that would have gotten around the whole gambling issue, maybe. But with Red Dead Online's gambling coming out and having the option to play against other players, I think this one definitely needs that option. I think it should have both playing against other players and playing against NPCs. So if you are a solo player, you can play against NPCs, enjoy the casino. 
But if you have some friends or if you just want to gamble with other players in the lobby, then you can do that. So I think that's definitely something that needs to be fixed from this original plan. And hopefully they do. And I will mention that Fun did say that some of this stuff is probably going to get replaced. Like they're probably going to make new models, have new code, and basically just redo the entire thing since this is so old. So the stuff we're seeing that, you know, the coding that we just saw, that might not even be the case when the casino comes out. Now, as for those pedestrians or the NPCs, the two that we saw were the waiter and then the just the, like the Gen Street one, whatever it said. So here is what the waiter looked like. There was two different looks for him. You can see the first look in the black tuck or the black vest. And then this is one where he's just wearing a tie. Clearly, the model is kind of a sort of low res model. So they're most probably definitely making new ones. And then here's what the the Gen Street guy was. This is the NPC that they had gambling with you. This is the one that was going to be on the table. Now, they only had one because I'm guessing they stopped working on the casino probably, probably pretty early on. But this was the guy, although, again, Fun says this guy was kind of just a placeholder. So if they were, were to release the casino back then, it would have been probably a different NPC. But that is back from the 360 and that's kind of what we've based a bunch of speculation off of because this is what rockstar's original plan was and we've seen time and time again they've taken some of their original ideas back from single player and early gta online and have re-implemented them in really cool ways into gta online and you know i guess the most recent example i keep bringing up is the doomsday heist that was a single player cut dlc they made it into online, and I think that's still one of the best DLCs they've ever added. So I am excited to see the casino come out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Does any of this stuff make you uh, think a little bit different? Do you think that we're going to have the option to gamble against other players, or do you think it's just going to be NPCs, or you know, what, do you, what are you guys' thoughts on that? Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA Online Casino DLC videos. Again, if you haven't entered to win that shark card giveaway, go do so. Very easy to do, and you might win $8 million. Who knows? Thank you all, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.